back to 13 Folds Radio. I hope everybody's having a good night. You're listening to Dave Death on rifreeradio.org. And we are at our new secret location. We like to move around because we don't want people to to get a get a bearing on where we're where we're located and come knocking on our door trying to snab us because uh we talk a lot of shit on this show that we probably shouldn't and you know what mr liberty could not be with us tonight um i did not tell him where the new location is so he's probably hanging out at the old location looking for us but you know that's his loss he should have called but don't fear because we have our good friend Spock from Colorado with us tonight. Are you there, Spock? Oh, I am, man. How you doing? Good. How are you doing tonight? Oh, uh, I'm psyched. I'm good. I'm comfortable. I'm in my chair. I got a couple of uh, drinks here. Uh, if not already, a couple in me. Doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, I'm ready to just uh, shoot the shoot the shit with you guys. Well, you are know you what. Back? I actually, for once, have some radio juice myself, so I'll be joining you in the festivities tonight. You're on. It's, yeah, you know, what can I say? I mean, I'm sitting here. Uh, it It's later for you. Uh, I'm talking, I mean, it's only 7 o'clock here in in Colorado, but it's like 9 o'clock yep, for you. Nine, it's 9 here, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a night owl anyways. But you know what? Speaking of festivities... We do have the Democratic Convention going on right now, I believe. Is it not? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, do you want me to comment? <laughs> well, I mean, we had some, we, we had some protesting going on uh, uh, Sunday, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like mini, mini protesting. Um, in well, fact, I think, I think the Republican one and this one seems to... They both seem, and I'm and I'm 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 negotiable on this. They both seem to have like so many people that are happy and unhappy. When you tell, hey, let's be happy, all the happy people clap, and <laughs> and, and lots of time, and and then you say, uh, oh, what's going on outside? And my favorite channel, oh, I can't say because that would be look. <laughs> Uh, my favorite channel would say, well, well, look at this outside there. And then there's people being unhappy. And you say, are, are you happy? And they say, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, and such is the way of life, the circle of life. But, yeah, but this is where it seems to me that it's worse than usual this time. And I think because both of the people that are running, everybody knows what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. this is have, Both have stigma. Both have both have problems. And although I'm completely on the side of one of them, which I ain't going to say. Well, no. a lot of the demonstrators out at the Democratic Convention, we're looking at Sanders supporters. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Um, uh, I think uh, I don't I haven't really scrutinized him a lot, but but I I'd vote for him if, if he was a third party. That was uh, up in the air. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, here for the other uh, two two people. I might even vote for him. However, I still like one of the other guys. Oh, whoop, whoop. Well, well, don't say it yet. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> See that loose tongue. I'm sorry. We um, but, I yeah. I would vote for Sanders. I mean, I I think I think he should break off and be an independent. Now, I guess he was saying, you know trying to get his supporters to now support Hillary. I don't think that's going to happen. People support him because Hillary's a crook. I agree completely. In fact, uh, uh, my son, my crazy son, who, who, is, who is wonderfully a libertarian, uh, he sent me a sticker. I got it right here and uh, on the front of my computer. It says, libertarians, diligently plotting to take over the world and then leave you the fuck alone. You know, <laughs> that's really what I want, but I yeah. don't see, but I don't see someone to vote for like that this time. So well, you have to pick and choose. You know, what would be cool is, you know, the libertarian nominee is um, Gary Johnson. I, I've heard that name. All yes. right. Now, yes. you know, what would be cool. What if he managed to convince Bernie to, to go rogue 
and run as his running mate for vice president? I'd vote for him in a second. You know, Bernie Sanders, he's old. This is his last hurrah. He doesn't have an opportunity to do anything else after this. And even his his stint in, in Congress is going to be pretty much over after this run. You know, uh, I, I guess, but... He should take something out of this. You know, I'd love to see him as a vice president. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh. Yeah, unfortunately, the two major parties, as you know, have already picked their two their two VPs purely for like, how can I get elected? Yeah, how can I capitalize uh, off, off yes. of this guy? Yeah. Now, Hillary chose uh, Kane, right? Oh yeah, K with a K. I think K A I N E, something like that. Oh, you mean not? Oh, I thought it was the wrestler Kane with the C. You know, the Undertaker's uh, 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 brother. I'm almost positive it's K-A-I-N. So that would be the Virginian senator, I believe. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Who I know, like, nothing about. No, I don't know much about him either. I know he's never lost a race. So that could be her, her good luck charm. Well, that's okay. Maybe he's only run twice. <laughs> he's only run I mean, once. I mean, you know, those stupid kind of things like, you know... After a while, just make me scratch my head. And say, oh. <laughs> now, if one of the races was like a twenty k marathon or something, I'd I'd be uh, I'd be impressed. I'd, I'd be waiting for him at the end <laughs> with the beer. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, old uh, sixty year old senator finally takes down a Kenyan in a in a race. Oh, fine. get my vote. I know, I know. Uh, so listen, we got an interesting show for you guys tonight. Uh, we'll try not to ramble on too much. As always, got some I'm great. Sorry. We I'm always sorry. got some great music lined up for you, and tonight is no exception. We have the new Twenty One Pilots set up for you guys later, right off of the Suicide Squad soundtrack, which I'm excited to see. I can't wait till that one comes out. Um, we have some news on Michael Jordan finally speaking out on racism, putting his two cents in we're going to touch base on the mass shooting out out in florida at the nightclub a bunch of kids gone rogue we got a interesting creation it's it's buildings that turn can turn china's smog into diamonds i think it's a pretty cool thing we got news from florida as always uh so entertainment news on the new king kong coming out we got a lot going on. Anyway, you're listening to 13 Folds Radio on rifreeradio.org. And we, get, we got a lot more for you. This is Two Fingers, Jake Bug, Ground. We'll be right back. I drink to remember. I smoke to forget. Some things to be proud of. Some stuff to regret. Gone down some dark alleys. In my own head, something's changing, changing, changing. I go back to Clifton to see my old friends, the best people I could ever have met. Skin off a fat one, hide from the feds, and something's changing, changing, changing. So I kiss goodbye to every little loud to me.
American Money, and this is Dave Death. You are listening to 13 Folds on RIFreeRadio.org. That's right, I'm sailing this ship solo tonight, but I do have a co-pilot out virtually from Colorado. He's Skyping in with us tonight. Spock from Colorado. Are you there, Spock? I sure am. Man, yeah, your music just... uh... Just puts me out there. I mean, uh, <laughs> with like only alcohol. <laughs> you no, know, it does. Uh, no, no. Ooh. Excellent music. Great day. Uh, great, great choice, Dave. Thank I you. Thank wait. you. It, it, it probably gets worse as the night goes on. But uh, now, I made that now, first round for you, buddy. I can't wait till either. I know it's easy to say. 
you come to me or I come to you. Uh, and uh, the, Well, do you know what? The next, the next time visit. you guys get out on the East Coast to visit us, um, oh, you know, oh, I'll well, have a heads it, up. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Because there's probably a better chance of that happening than me being able to get out there, at least now. You know, a couple of years it, down the road, I think I'll be able to make the trek. It, it, you know what? Uh, I have to say this uh, to the whole world and even to Alpha Centauri in four years. You got to hear this. We moved from the East Coast to to the Colorado High Rockies. And if you can't, we knew that that would mean that people that we know and love wouldn't be able to get there easily. And not only easily, perhaps not often, even in every large handful of years. And so it's not anybody's fault that time and space separate us. And so, yeah, so it's probably me that's more likely, given your situation, to uh, to get on a vehicle and get the hell out there to where you are. Well, we have the teleporter here. At oh, headquarters. Shit. You and... told me that Jaws was a what you you son of a bitch. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so so we were talking a little bit about accountability earlier and, yeah. and we really didn't get to talk about it. you and I were talking about it personally. And I think that's something that kind of defines where we're at right now in American politics and you you look at accountability and there is no accountability. I mean, we're talking about Hillary Clinton and who's her running mate. Who gives a shit? She shouldn't be run. She should be in prison. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I can't help but feel as though I'm uh, off to the side of a lot of people in the country who are willing to vote for her or, you know, uh, uh, and, and even though the alternative, the typical alternative is also like in your face so much, but I'll take in your face politics as opposed to what I think, and I'm not going to uh, say all the uh, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, into what I think is 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 less than than that, but and, and I agree, I agree with you. You know, but there, there's uh, got to be, and that's why I'm so anxious to see what Gary Johnson and the Libertarian Party can do because there's an opportunity to really make a statement. And I think if he could convince Bernie to run as his vice president, they would be a force to be reckoned with. Do you think for a second though that that's that there's enough time. I'm afraid that there's not enough time. Oh, there's enough time. If that happened right so? now, it would it would it would be huge because it, the libertarians we're already ahead of the game because we don't buy into that two party system anymore. We've 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 gone over and accepted. Hey, we needed a, an alternative, and we've created one. I I I I, I consider myself a libertarian. My my lifelong mate just throws a stick at me when I say that. So, so obviously, uh, not only with us, but with other people, uh, if you don't agree in the household, okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> we don't talk, not only me and my mate, but me and the other two other families of ours that eat supper with us often. Uh, uh, we don't talk, talk uh, politics. No way. Well, you know what? Nobody wants to talk politics with those bleeding hearts anyways. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of bleeding hearts, Michael Jordan has finally spoke out on police shootings. Excellent. Um, and, Excellent. and I thought this was interesting news because Jordan usually tries to stay out of the spotlight on shit like this. But what, Never hear him talk. what he said it was great in a lot of sense. And, and let me read, let me read three of three paragraphs of it. All right. I was raised by parents who taught me to love and respect people regardless of their race or background. So I am saddened and frustrated by the, dis, the, the, the divisive rhetoric and racial tensions 
that seem to be getting worse as of late. I know this country is better than that, and I can no longer stay silent. We need to find solutions that ensure people of color receive fair and equal treatment and that police officers who put their lives on the line every day to protect us all are respected and supported. Now, that's just one paragraph, and I agree with that 100%. I, th- I, I applaud him. I, I, I've i always thought he was a, 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 a very cool guy. He's a class act. He's a cl- Yeah, thank you. Right. All right, so let me continue reading. Yeah. Over the past three decades, I have seen up close and dedication – or the dedication of the law enforcement officers who protect me and my family. I have the greatest respect for their sacrifice and service. I also recognize that for many people of color, their experiences with law enforcement have been different than mine. I have decided to speak out in the hope that we can come together as Americans and through peace, peaceful dialogue and education, achieve constructive change. All right. Now, I agree with that, too. What he is saying there is something that we've been talking about for three years, where there is more than a racial disparity in this country. It it is a economic disparity that we're being victimized by. Uh, uh, I'll tell you, Dave Death, uh, there's also another word. There's an acceptance uh, problem. It still, I think, in this country, uh, even though even though um, uh, various uh, minorities, uh, they're, they're even even you know, blacks, Muslims, and whatever, I think that there's an automatic non-acceptance in this country. Now, have I experienced uh, the uh, piss me off? accounts where that happens is uh, the town of Denver uh, typically filled with I'm sorry problematic black events uh, maybe but but uh, it hurts me it hurts me strongly and and I want I want everybody no matter regardless I guess regardless of color, I'd really like to see people like come back to law and order. Whatever happened to the golden rule? If we lived by the golden rule, treat others as you would have them treat you. It'd be a great world. That, that would, but I'm not, but I'm not sure that, that a whole lot of people nowadays, that sounds like, that sounds like, to me, an old-fashioned rule. I agree with you on that, but it sounds like an old-fashioned rule. And I think you have to avoid old-fashioned rules. For instance, um, what if, you know, I, I mean, uh, pissed-off blacks. Well, oh, geez, you know, I, and it's like you can't even say black anymore, meaning a Negro. Yeah, Come well, I, I, you know what, people, who, people who get offended by saying the word yeah, black yeah, or, yeah, are yeah. racist or, or people that worry about offending people by saying the word black, they're racist anyway, or they wouldn't be worrying about, hey, do I sound racist? Like, I don't worry if I sound racist because I know I'm not racist. Some of the things that come out of my mouth may sound racist, but the people who know me and, and many of the people that listen to the show understand that, no, I'm not racist. I just like to say things as they are. I'm not sugarcoating things, and, and I like to look at things from a different perspective, you know? Uh, I agree with you, and I think that's – we need more, more microphones in the air that say that. Um, you know, um, well, it's everybody's too damn offended, too easily offended nowadays. Oh, save me from political correctness. Yeah, oh, I, everybody so wants their safe now. space. Oh, you yes. can't, it, there's no freedom of speech anymore. You know what? Who gives a shit if I like you or not? You know, everybody should be judged whether uh, it, it should be judged on on how qualified qualifications like if we judge the election on qualifications instead of popularity it would be a different thing it but yeah however you want to define it yeah yeah it would be a different thing but like i said earlier there's no accountability um and you look um, at it police we're talking about the disparity in the way police 
it, please treat blacks. And, okay. And they're it, not accountable. A, and that's the problem. Strong, the ple- I have a strong feeling about that, and I'd like to just say it quickly. All right, say it quickly, and then we're going to play some more music. We're yeah, getting, uh, we're getting yeah, heated, yeah. Uh, police, heated on this lone ship. Policemen of America, we know that en masse, you are talented, trained, and appropriate. It's only that tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of, of, of your group that makes these mistakes out of clear blue nowhere and and it turns into bad uh, bad press and bad bad humanity uh you have to deal with that and lastly i know i'm pushing the numbers here dave um and lastly um here in fort collins colorado uh, we have we have many muslims and we have a muslim church and the Muslims are with me and my daughter. Sometimes we go to the food bank for, for great food. Um, um, they, too, need to speak out. They need to speak out and say, hey, let's stop this. And I, I'm afraid I don't see enough of the impinged upon... Uh, it's the good old boys club. Good old saying, boys. saying, please... Let's let's talk about this and speak out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I ran accountability. Ranted, but yeah, yeah. There, uh, there's no accountability. There, everywhere you look, it's all about that. You know, they try to talk about on the news about uh, uh, about equality and and segregation and everything, and yet every section of our political system is segregated some way, you know, even the two party system is segregation. It's yeah. more, it, yeah. they're more committed. They're more committed than, than gang members, like the bloods of the Crips. Yeah. Yeah. Although, although you notice that both, both, uh, Oh God, dare I say the words Democrats and Republicans, they both have to make special appeals in their in their uh, in their the, the speeches and their actions and so on, to this various culture and that various culture, I think they just just propagate on and on and on and on. You know. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of on and on and on and on, we've gone on yeah. too long. <laughs> Listen. Man, uh, we're, your shit. Oh. Yeah, we're going to play some more tunes for you guys. You're listening to 13 <laughs> Fold Radio, RIFreeRadio.org. No. This is a song called Kisser oh, okay. from Step Rockets. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let us know what talk. you think. Check us out on Facebook, <laughs> 13 Folds Magazine. Stick around. We still got the new 21 Pilots coming up. And as I said, this is Kisser from the Step Rockets. Break away with that sound Break away with my pain 
13 folds radio on RI freeradio.org that's a little ditty from a band called Radiohead you may have heard of them the song is called Electioneering of OK Computer from back in 1997 one of my favorite CDs from beginning to end I hope you guys enjoy it too I am still sitting here with my friend Spock from Colorado, our Colorado correspondent for the Week in Weed. How's it going, Spock? How you doing, man? Well, <laughs> we're on round two over here. Ah, uh, that's awesome! Awesome, uh, everything is good here. But you uh, know what? We did get sidetracked, and such is the predicament okay. of a round two in, in drinks <laughs> and weed. We were talking about the Michael Jordan statement and wanting to wrap everything up. Um, right. What Michael Jordan did that I thought was awesome is um, to support his call for change and dialogue and education. He said, to support the effort, I am making contributions of $1 million each to two organizations, the International Association of Chiefs of Police, a newly established institute for community police relations, and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. And I think that's pretty cool because, you know, he's kind of like me. He's disgusted and outraged with both ends of the spectrum and he's looking at real ways rather than violent ways to solve the problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, we need, uh, that's one of my notes here is that please, please, uh, speak out if you feel like you're a minority and you might not, uh, I don't, but, but if you feel like a minority and, or if you're, of their feel uh, oppressed by such, speak out. Go well, and that also goes back to accountability, though. We're we're talking about well, accountability. If you are not being oppressed and you don't feel being oppressed, but you see it happening, you know, shouldn't you speak out in defense speak, there? Speak out is absolutely. I've spoken to only three uh, Muslim people who would talk to me here in Fort Collins. And I, and I said to them, um, please, can you go on the local newspaper and say um, that I'm a Muslim and um, this is da 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 some of the data about how we feel. I think they're church. just sleeper cells. Don't don't buy their liberal, uh, uh, yeah, bleeding I, heart rhetoric. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know, and I'm and I'm only proposing that that's a possibility because, because, Dave, I like what you just said, but it's possible that maybe they have something to say, and 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 it's difficult for me to get it out of them. Uh, maybe they have something to say about about how they feel. And and uh, why this that this that? It'd be nice, but 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 they're scared to death. Either oh, yeah. that, or or they're not scared to death, but they're uh, resistant to speaking anything about it because of religious reasons. You know. Well, you know who's not afraid of speaking out is Little Ooh. Wayne. Because Little Wayne stormed off stage at a cannabis festival because the crowd was too mellow. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, <laughs> well, shame on the crowd. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, he but wanted I mean, everyone with energy and, and to dance <laughs> to his shit, quote unquote. But no one was interested. <laughs> uh, so well, I guess he walked off stage after the... Uh, uh, After the third song, he said, don't you ever, ever, ever ask me to do this shit again. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh, Dave, in the last month, I had two lifelong friends of mine. Here you go. I'm going to type over that. Uh, two lifelong friends of mine. And they came and they visited us here. And we had a blast. And both of them were blown away by the simple 
availability in the candy stores. You, uh, you people have no idea. Oh, yeah. What? Well, you know what? Why don't we go into that now? Let's do our Week in Weed segment right now. Give us the update. Yeah. What's going on in Colorado? That's why you're here. Let's, let's liven this shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My friend, uh, my two friends, uh, Jim and Ralph, doesn't matter. There's a thousand of them. Yeah. Um, common name. Yeah. We can use that. Oh, yeah. Word. Common name. And uh, from 133 was, Cherry Street. <laughs> oh, it's funny. You should say Cherry Street. That's the street I grew up on. <laughs> oh, now uh, we know. Oh, uh, see? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, sick. Uh, whatever. Never admit to anything. And never admit to anything. And, and uh, they both loved Fort Collins. They both, uh, only one of them uh, smokes pot. One of them does not. But they still, they, they came here, they stayed with us for a uh, number of weeks. And, uh, and, and they, they went to the pot shops with me, and they were just blown away by it. And they said, holy shit, man. And um, particularly both of them were taken by how well managed and, uh, and, and put together and the whole thing is they're just they were just they were just blown away. Well, it has to be. But you know what? They need to share the model with the rest of the country so everybody can see and say, oh, I get how it works now. And everybody can get on board and we can make this shit happen because I'd love to have the tax revenue that Colorado has coming in in uh, Rhode Island. Oh, uh, boy. The roads suck uh, here. You. you oh, I've Pot got, for potholes. Uh, I, I, I didn't, uh, I only have the rare notes here uh, for tonight about the outstanding amount of money that, and, and, and I've already talked about how uh, f- large fractions of billions of dollars are coming out on this, but, but. Uh, so what's holding people... us back? All right, let's. I'm sidetracking you like you always do. Us. What's holding us no, back? A... If they're showing how much money is coming in, what is it that is holding us back? Is it a virtue, a moral issue? Wow, is that a tough question? Um, you know, it. it uh... Wow. It, it, yeah, I'm as baffled as you I'm... are. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I know what the I answer am. is. Yeah. And that doesn't happen often because I usually am. Yeah, it's another uh, it's another example of no accountability. We've proven through science and in thousands uh, of years of research and availability that of cannabis is, that the war on a, cannabis is bullshit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. there's no accountability. No one will take accountability for the lies. Instead, they're going to continue lying to us and we keep eating the bullshit. All right, are you ready? Are, are, are you ready there, Dave? <laughs> Give me some more lighthearted oh, news. Here you go. Oh, lighthearted news. I got the best piece of lighthearted news you ever heard. Here you go. We now have pot for dogs. Nice. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the name of the uh, drug uh, medicine is Therabis. Oh, T- uh, they should have, have named it Canon Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have three different formulations. Okay, if you've got a dog that is, <laughs> I just got <laughs> depressed. My dog's oh, depressed. Oh, he doesn't want to walk dog anywhere. Is calm and, pri- and quiet. They have a drug, a cannabis drug for that. You know, please God, don't send me to hell for this. Oh, you know what? But it should have been K. K the number nine dash A B I S K nine yeah. abyss. Yes, there are nine abyss. Oh, see, see, and then of course, if your dog itches a lot. Oh my God! Two dogs ago, I had a dog that scratched uh, about twenty-five hours of the a week. And they have a they have a drug a, a cannabis drug that says we can just these pills. Will stop your scratching, your scratching, your dog. And thirdly, they have another pill. If you're up and move, it, I mean, if your dog needs to be up and moving, well, we've got the stuff. 
Nice. But all of this. Now, now, you know, in the old days, if and when someone around me was smoking pot and they would, I'm not in favor of this. Blowing smoke into the face of their dog. Yeah, but that's Come different because you're blowing smoke. It's dangerous. Uh, yeah, no, Even smoking like, weed. Like, that's it, the only it, danger it, of smoking weed is the actual act of smoking. Like, vaporizing and stuff, it's actually very safe. But smoking uh, it, it's like smoking anything. You can get cancer. You can get lung cancer. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. But, you know, in the old days, people... And I would say, no, don't do that to your dog. But now, officially, there's a company, Therabis that sells these pills. Now, I'm not going to give my dog any of these pills. However, if your dog is really freaking you out, you can get it. And, uh, and I'm sure I've already said the word online. <laughs> so, so well, it's whole- probably real low dosage, you know, for, for a dog size. Well, yeah, let me think. Uh, Peric, uh, all of them have whole plant cannabinoids. Okay, boom. And then... There's one chemical in each of the three that are different. One stops you from being a freak. One stops the itch. And one stops you from, like, running around without ever sitting down. Yeah, well, you know what? I want to get high, really high, and go check out go check out this new place. Disney has just unveiled plans for a massive new Marvel comic universe. Um, Will you take me there? Oh, God, yeah. You know what? You can sell me some <laughs> advertising in Colorado. Uh, we're all going. But I guess I, they got the new Star Wars land coming out. And now with this, I guess Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be... Oh. They're tearing down the Tower of Terror. Not tearing it down, but they're they're revamping the Tower yeah, of Terror. Yeah, it's gone by. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be Guardians of the Galaxy now. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there you go. And it I looks love- pretty cool. You should go online and check it out. Look up the Guardians of the Galaxy Disney. I've already, written it, down. I've already <laughs> written it down. I want to check that out. I want to check the Star Wars one out, too. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I love Star Wars. Oh, man, I love all this shit. Oh, this is great. Listen, we got. I want to talk about how we're going to turn China's smog into diamonds. Um, I also want to get to that new song from the new 21 Pilot song from the Suicide Squad soundtrack. And you know what? We, I just found this out that our shows on RI Free Radio have been getting cut down to an hour and 20 minutes. We record two hours every night, so they're cutting out some kind of brilliance or idiocracy. Okay. You never know how good of an editor uh, yep. the the guy over there running this shit show is. Um, speaking of that guy, I got to say this before we go to our next break. Tony yep. Jones is running for Tony or, or for town council. Um, he's a libertarian former candidate for lieutenant governor and state director for Gary Johnson in 2016. Uh, he's running for North Kingstown, Rhode Island. He's a li- the only libertarian going up against all the Democrats and Republicans. He's a great guy. Uh, check him out. Look out Tony Jones. Um, vote Tony Jones on Facebook and find out a little bit more about what he stands for. I know that he's got my vote, and you know who else has my vote? Um, a little guy we all know as Jack White off of the White Stripes. And this is a song called I Just Don't Know What to Do With Myself. You're listening to 13 Folds Radio on rifreeradio.org. I want to go get another beer. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with myself I don't know what to do with myself I 
just don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. Summer road with the sun in the rain. I need your sweet love to fill up the way. Well, I don't know what to do with myself. Just don't know what to do with myself. Sleeping. I got this tiny little feeling creeping in the night. I'm not gonna say there ain't no great, great days, but it's cloudy in the best of times. Getting tired of wasting worries, wanna let the worries worry for themselves for a change. I saw something sinking 
from the back of your eyes. Hope it was an hope that was open, open for the very last time. Hard to be optimistic, realistic at the very same time. Folds Radio on rifreeradio.org. That was a song called Good Morning, Mr. Wolf from Patrick Watson and Spock. Was that trippy enough for you? Yeah. I lo- Oh, man. I've already said it. This is great. I love your stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, have you ever considered um, uh, publishing on the network or whatever the word is uh, of the music. The playlists? That's it. Yeah. You know what? I I should do that. There's probably a way to do it through, through iTunes, but um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really that savvy, believe it or not. I pulled Uh, this shit off by, by pure luck. Okay. (laughs) You know what? I want to tell you, I want to tell you one thing. All right. Okay, you ready? And make it a quick uh, one because we're short on time. Because, oh, okay. l- like I was saying, they they cut our show to an hour and twenty minutes. So I want to play the new Twenty One Pilots before that because a lot of people are tuning in to listen to that. But we're going to do a two hour show anyways. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a way to post the entire two hours online at some point so people yeah. can go back yeah. into the archives and listen to the real full shit that we get into. Okay. I'm going to make this quick and short. You, All right. You, you never you never believe me because I'm full of shit. All right. Well, okay. I get five children. Okay. I believe and that. Every, and every one of them grew up with the you can't break the one mistake rule. They all, as soon as you say that to them, they would say, ah, yes. And... What I taught them was, you can break 
one rule as soon as you leave the house. You know, uh, drive down the street and drink a fucking beer. I'm not happy with that. But that's your but it's one gonna happen. mistake. But that, but yeah, and that's your one mistake. But you cannot have a, and I don't want to hear this when you're in the police station. You cannot have a, oh, one rear tail light is out. No, 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 no. That's the second mistake. You can't, you can't be driving down the street, drinking a beer. And, and have a tail light. And yes, you can have a okay. tail light or you can have a drink and a beer, but you can't have both. But you can't have both. And, <laughs> and think of all the ways that you can fuck up while you say driving down the street. You can only have one mistake. Hey, I give my kid rules of wisdom all the time. And rule number one is don't do drugs at a traffic light. Oh, smoking. There's two places where you should never, ever, ever, ever toke, I'm told. Uh, when you're, when you're at a traffic light and when you're in the parking lot of a, oh, here we go. Package store. People oh, are, yeah. They, Cause the cops are always there. All right. Listen, the let's get this, up. let's get this song out of the way for all the people who are forced to listen to the hour and, and 20 minute version of the show. Then, then we're going to come back. We're going to do some stupid news. Obviously Florida will be in there. You know, you can't help it, but promise that. But this is the new 21 Pilots. It's a song called Heathens. It's off of the Suicide Squad soundtrack. You're listening to 13 Folds Radio on rifreeradio.org. Uh, be sure to go check out the full-length podcast, which I haven't figured out how to post yet. But when I do, you be sure to check them out. And, and yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, before we go to this song, I want to thank our sponsors. Um Canacare, Merchant Bank Card Systems, Greenside Up. Thank you guys for making this shit happen. We appreciate everything you do for us. And without any further ado, here is Heathens from 21 Pilots. I hope you enjoy. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathen, take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know People who have rooms of people that they love one day Locked away Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change From hand grenades You love another psychopath sitting next to you You love another murderer sitting next to you You think that I get here sitting next to you But after all I've said Please don't forget All my friends are here It's taking slow Side is very well. They say newcomers have a certain smell. Yeah, trust issues, not to mention. They say they can smell your intentions. You love on the freak show sitting next to you. You love some weird people sitting next to you. You think I did I get here sitting next to you. But after all I've said, please don't forget.
trust you.